idea of making art, as far as I'm concerned, just comes from just doing it over and over and over. You just have to be making a lot of mistakes. The father of glassblowing, a pioneer of his field, the man that created a movement, Dale Chihuly has cemented himself a legacy in the art world. But like all other artists before him, Chihuly is only human, and his career has opened up many questions about individuality, who really makes art, and the lines between commercialization and selling out. It's no exaggeration to say that Chihuly was the driving force behind glass art going from a lowbrow style to a respected medium in the fine art world. His explorations of shape, design, and color through massive glass pieces and picturesque locations, over the rivers of Venice or decorating the ceiling of Las Vegas's Bellagio Casino, have dazzled the public for generations and inspired a whole new generation of artists biting at the bit to play around in the medium. Seattle has become an epicenter of the movement, with the school that Chihuly founded, Pilchuck Glass School, going on its 50th year of educating new artists. But not every Seattle artist is a fan. Chihuly has generated a fair bit of ire from other artists in the area that aren't as fond of glass as he, or are just kind of sick of it at this point. Citing a lack of opportunity in a full market and low visibility for anybody outside it, Seattleite seems split on whether or not Chihuly's influence has been a positive on the area, or done more harm than good. Their arguments range from mostly valid, does Chihuly care more about making art or making money, to mostly just angry, he got too rich over something that shouldn't even be an art form, to somewhere in between, does buying a museum dedicated to yourself in the center of a major city make you a narcissist? But can he really be blamed? Chihuly is an artist that tried something new and got public recognition for it. It's the dream of every artist out there, and he's generous enough to help teach others to learn the medium. As a result of that, Seattle gets the ripples, for better or for worse. But this is far from the only criticism that has been lobbied against the 81-year-old man. In 2017, a lawsuit was filed against him by a contract worker claiming that he was entitled to upwards of $20 million for his work on almost 300 paintings of Chihuly's. The suit was thrown out by the judge in 2019, and whether or not the claims are true are less important than the questions that they bring up, at least for those that love to fight about him. Chihuly hasn't touched a glassblower since 1979, when a car accident stole his eye and a later body surfing accident permanently damaged his shoulder. Instead, he creates designs that his team of glassblowers, often students at his school, recreate to a T, Chihuly acting more as a supervisor and director, at least on his good days. Chihuly has also suffered from bipolar disorder and depression that affects his ability to come to work. That has led to many asking the age-old question of, if Chihuly never touches his pieces, can they truly be considered his? He designs them, sure, but how much of an artist has to be involved in the creation of a work to call it theirs? It's a question that is as intriguing as it is boring, depending on who you ask. Those outside the field, looking in, see it as an affront. The line between churning out a product and creating a piece too blurred. Historians would note that paintings have often been painted by students or apprentices under famous artists' names. Why does it matter? Should it? Chihuly sued another artist in 2006 over a similar matter. An employee under Chihuly, for 10 years, Brian Rubino went on to his own career, creating pieces with a striking resemblance to Chihuly's work. He argued that this was just his style, and while he countersued Chihuly, both suits settled as the court couldn't come to a conclusion on where Chihuly's art sits on the line between art and craft, between art and product. We're still learning what fine art stands for in the modern world, and questions like these are sure to continue to arise as our perception of art changes, like it has throughout the history of mankind. Chihuly has had a long, winding, and profitable career, one that he has no plans on stopping. While we have yet to truly see the full impact that he has had on the art world, and regardless of the controversies, we can say now that it's significant. He's done something that artists have been and will continue to look to for inspiration to persevere, to keep making art. Like Chihuly himself says, follow your dream, your passion, follow your gut and create something no one has seen before.